Vivendi SA is a French mass media conglomerate headquartered in Paris. The company has activities in music, television, film, video games, book publishing, telecommunications, tickets and video hosting service. Activities Vivendi is a company primarily focused on digital entertainment. It owns the French TV channel and movie producer Canal Plus Group, as well as music world leader Universal Music Group, book publisher Editus, communication company Avis, video games company Gameloft, and video hosting service Dailymotion. Vivendi's president Vincent Bollor, appointed in June 2014, aims at developing synergies between the company's subsidiaries now refocused on media, Canal Plus Group, Universal Music Group, Vivendi Village, Daily Motion, Gameloft and Telecom Italia. Television and film, Canal Plus Group Canal Plus Group is the leading pay television group in France. It is also an international movie and television series producer and distributor with Studio Canal. In November 2013, Vivendi became the exclusive owner of France's biggest pay TV company. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Music Universal Music Group Universal Music Group is considered one of the big three record labels, along with Sony Music and Warner Music Group. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Advertising and Public Relations, Avis. Avis is one of the largest global advertising and communications groups in the world. Since October 2017, Vivendi owns 94.75% of Avis's share capital. Topic: <inaudible> 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 Video games, Gameloft. In July 2016, Vivendi completed its takeover of Gameloft, the world's largest mobile games publisher in terms of downloads. Gameloft reported that their games had amassed over 1 billion downloads in 2016. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Publishing. Vivendi owns the French publisher Editus, which it acquired in January 2019 for 900 million euros. Editus is one of France's largest publishers. Topic. Vivendi Village Vivendi Village comprises a group of small companies active in digital and in live entertainment. Vivendi Ticketing comprises the ticketing businesses C Tickets in the UK and the US, as well as Digitic Group in France. Both businesses specialize in the retail and distribution of tickets for live entertainment, sport and cultural events, in addition to providing operating platforms for venues to run their own ticketing services. Vivendi Ticketing processes annually over 40 million tickets. The business also operates as an internal service provider to other Vivendi businesses notably Universal Music Group where tickets are sold for and on behalf of the group's artists. MyBestPro provides experts counseling in different fields Wengo, RDV Medico, Duratravail, Borders, Devispresto. Watchiva is a subscription video on demand service available in Germany. Vivendi Village also owns the Paris based concert venue L'Olympia. In 2015, Vivendi announced that it will open 10 live performance venues in Central and West Africa. These venues will be named Canal Olympia, they will serve as concert halls, theatres, and screening rooms. Video hosting service, Dailymotion 
In 2015, Vivendi purchased an 80% stake in Daily Motion from its previous owner, Orange SA. Vivendi announced that it increased this stake to 90% in September 2015. Topic: History. Topic: Origins. <inaudible> 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 On 14 December 1853, a water company named Compagnie Générale des Eaux was created by an imperial decree of Napoleon III. In 1854, CGE obtained a concession in order to supply water to the public in Lyon, serving in that capacity for over a hundred years. In 1861, it obtained a 50-year concession with the city of Paris. CGE also supplied water to Nantes, Venice from 1880, Constantinople from 1882, and Porto from 1883. For more than a century, Compagnie Générale des Eaux remained largely focused on the water sector. Following the appointment of Guy de Jouaini as CEO in 1976, CGE extended its activities into other sectors with a series of takeovers. Beginning in 1980, CGE began diversifying its operations from water into waste management, energy, transport services, and construction and property. It acquired the Compagnie Générale d'Entreprises Automobiles CGEA, specialized in industrial vehicles, which was later divided into two branches, Connex later Veolia Transport in 1999 and Onyx Environment later Veolia Environmental Services in 1989. CGE then acquired the Compagnie Générale de Chauffe, and later the Montanay Group, with these companies later becoming the Energy Services Division of CGE, and later renamed Dalkia. In 1998, in 1983, CGE helped to found Canal Plus, the first pay TV channel in France, and in the 1990s, they began expanding into telecommunications and mass media, especially after Jean-Marie Messier succeeded Guy de Jouaini on 27 June 1996, acquiring companies such as the Babelsberg Studio. In 1996, CGE created Nerf Segetel to take advantage of the 1998 deregulation of the French telecommunications market, accelerating the move into the media sector which would culminate in the 2000 demerger into Vivendi Universal and Vivendi Environment Veolia. Topic: <laughs> Creation of Vivendi In 1998, Compagnie Générale des Eaux changed its name to Vivendi, and sold off its property and construction divisions the following year to what would become Vinci SA. Vivendi went on to acquire stakes in or merge with Maroc Telecom, Avis, Sendant Software, Grupo Anaya, and Nethold, a large continental European pay TV operator. Beginning in 1998, Vivendi launched digital channels in Italy, Spain, Poland, Scandinavia, Belgium, and the Netherlands. In June 1999, Vivendi merged with Pathé, the exchange ratio for the merger fixed at three Vivendi shares for every two Pathé shares. The Wall Street Journal estimated the value of the deal at $2.59 billion. Following the completion of the merger, Vivendi retained Pathé's interests in British Sky Broadcasting Group PLC and Canal Satellite, a French broadcasting corporation, then sold all remaining assets to Jerome Seydoux's family-owned holding company, Fournier SA, who changed its name to Pathé. Vivendi Universal SA was created on 8 December 2000 with the merger of the Vivendi Media Empire with Canal Plus Television Networks and the acquisition of media assets of Canadian company Seagram Company Limited, owner of Universal Studios. Vivendi Universal acquired MP3.com and a leading American publisher, Houghton Mifflin in year 2001. To raise the funds, Vivendi Universal sold its trade and medical publishing businesses to a group led by Sinvon. 
Topic: Vivendi Environment. Vivendi Environment was formed in 1999 by Vivendi to consolidate its environmental divisions, which were CGEA Transport, Onyx Environment, now Veolia Environmental Services, Dalkia, and CGE Water Division. As a result, CGEA Transport was renamed Connex later Veolia Transport, and CGE's water division was renamed Vivendi Water, now Veolia Water. In July 2000, Vivendi Environment was divested through IPOs in Paris and later New York in October 2001. Initially, Vivendi Universal retained a 70% stake in Vivendi Environment in 2000, but by December 2002, it was reduced to 20.4%. In 2003, Vivendi Environment was renamed to Veolia Environment. Topic. Corporate loss Vivendi Universal disclosed a corporate loss of €23.3 billion Euros in its 2002 annual report. It responded with financial reshuffling, trying to shore up media holdings while selling off shares in its spin-off companies. Amid intense media scrutiny, its chairman and CEO, Jean-Marie Messier who had overseen the most dramatic phase of the company's diversification, was subsequently replaced by Jean-René Fortou. Messier was found guilty of embezzlement in 2011, but not before he was paid over $20 million as part of his severance package. The company reduced its stake in Vivendi Environment to 40% and sold its stake in Vinci SA. The company then began reorganizing to stave off bankruptcy, announcing a strategy to sell non-strategic assets. Its largest single shareholder was the family of Edgar Bronfman Jr., who was head of Seagram at the time of the merger. Vivendi sold its stake in Visavi to Vodafone, with the exception of Visavi France. It also sold 20.4% of Vivendi Environment's capital to a group of investors, and its stake in North American satellite operator Echostar Communications Corporation. It also sold Houghton Mifflin to Thomas H. Lee, Blackstone and Bain Consortium for $1.66 billion. Also in 2002, Vivendi Universal sold the Belgian and Dutch activities of its subsidiary Scoot Europe to Carpetol, the parent company of online directory Infobel. In 2003, Vivendi Universal sold Canal Plus Technologies to Thomson SA, Tele Plus to News Corporation, and Telecom Italia. It also sold its 26.3% interest in Xferra. Also in 2003, it sold its consumer magazines to Socpress and its free newspapers to France Antilles. On 1 December, Vivendi Universal closed a deal to sell MP3.com to CNET. Despite predictions that it would be unable to raise the cash needed, Vivendi Universal bought out one of the two minority shareholders in Sagittal, taking its holding to 60%, with Vodafone holding the remaining 40%. Management viewed the mobile communications firm as a core asset once the bulk of media assets had been sold off. Further acquisitions, mergers and divestments In 2004, 80% of the Vivendi Universal subsidiary was sold to GE, to form NBC Universal, with Vivendi retaining a 20% stake. At the same time, it sold a 50% stake in Canal Plus and Studio Canal to the new company. Vivendi also sold its interests in Kencel rebranded Celtel, Kenya, Monaco Telecom and Sport5 which it held through Canal Plus Group, and sold Newsworld International to the business partnership of Joel Hyatt and former Vice President of the United States Al Gore. Vivendi also sold Babelsberg Studio. On 16 December 2005, it was announced that Canal Plus would merge with TPS, France's second largest pay TV provider. 
If the 5 billion euros, 5.9 billion dollars, 3.4 billion pounds tie-up is approved, VU will own 85% of the combined entity. On 17 January 2006, Vivendi Universal announced it would end its American Depository Receipt Program and its listing on the New York Stock Exchange by the end of the second quarter of 2006, due to lowered trading volume on its shares and high costs. On 20 April 2006, Vivendi in its current form came into existence, following the sale of an 80% stake in the Vivendi Universal unit to General Electric to form NBC. NBC Universal merging GE's NBC unit and Vivendi's Vivendi Universal unit and the gradual recovery of the company from its disastrous over-expansion in the late 1990s and the early 2000s. The company announced that shareholders had approved the name change to Vivendi. In August 2006, Vivendi signed a deal with Spiral Frog to distribute Vivendi's songs online in the United States and Canada. On 8 September, the company announced that Sierra Entertainment would be publishing the new game for Double Fine Productions, later revealed to be Brutal Legend. On 2 December 2007, Vivendi announced that it would be merging its game publishing unit with Activision in a $18.8 billion deal. This will allow the merged company, Activision Blizzard, to rival Electronic Arts, the world's biggest video games publisher. The merger closed on 9 July 2008, for $9.8 billion. Vivendi held a 52% majority stake in the new business. On 8 September 2009, Vivendi announced negotiations to buy the Brazilian phone operator Global Village Telecom GVT. Vivendi took control of GVT at a cost of 56 REAIS per share on the 13th of November, trumping Telefonica's bid. On the 3rd of December 2009, GE announced it would purchase Vivendi's stake in NBC Universal, which would become a joint venture between GE and Comcast. Vivendi sold its stake in NBC Universal on the 25th of January 2011. On 4 April 2011, Vodafone sold its 44% stake in mobile service provider SFR to Vivendi for about $11 billion and giving Vivendi full control of its largest unit. In 2012, Vivendi announced having entered a strategic review of its assets and decided to refocus its activities on media and content activities while maximizing its telecoms assets. On 25 July 2013, Vivendi asset Activision Blizzard announced the purchase of 429 million shares from Vivendi for $5.83 billion, dropping the shareholder from a 63% stake to 11.8% by the end of the deal in September, ending Vivendi's majority ownership of Activision Blizzard. In November 2013, Vivendi also sold its 53% stake in Maroc Telecom to Dubai based Etisalat for around $4.2 billion. Vivendi also confirmed in November 2013 its intention to launch a demerger plan which would result in Vivendi becoming an international media group consisting primarily of Canal Plus, Universal Music Group, and GVT, while SFR would be listed separately on the stock market. As a result of the foregoing, Vivendi Group results for the first semester 2014 are in a strong growth, witnessing the success of its repositioning strategy. Net income was up 84,8% to €1.9 billion. In August 2014 Vivendi sells GVT to Telefonica Vivo, a subsidiary of Telefonica in Brazil. The moves have allowed Vivendi to rapidly pay down debt and increase cash returns to shareholders while leaving it with ammunition to do acquisitions of its own. Indeed, once the SFR deal closes, Vivendi will have a cash pile of around €5 billion, Euros, leaving it with some room to maneuver even after it pays down debt and returns nearly €5 billion Euros in dividends and share buybacks to shareholders. Vivendi's priority is now content. 
The French group is expected to expand its assets in the content industries in the coming year. In 2014, Vivendi decided to sell mobile companies SFR France to Patrick Drahi's company, Altus, and GVT Brazil to the Brazilian company Telefonica Vivo. On 28 May 2014, Vivendi sold half of its remaining shares, nearly 41.5 million shares in Activision Blizzard for $850 million, reducing its stake to 6%. In April 2015, it was announced that a shareholder in the company Bolor raised its stake from 10.2% to 12.01% for a total fee of €568 million. Euros. In 2015, Vivendi bought 80 percent share in Dailymotion. According to the Wall Street Journal, the French media group offered around $273 million for streaming service. Vivendi was in talks with Orange, to buy 80 percent stake in Dailymotion. Also, Vivendi announced extra payouts in compromise with P. Schoenfeld Asset Management shareholder. It was revealed in October 2015 that Vivendi would increase its stake in Telecom Italia to around 19% of the ordinary share capital as part of its aims to increase its influence in the group. In October 2015, Vivendi bought minority stakes in the French video game studios Gameloft and Ubisoft. On 17 December 2015, Vivendi acquired a 64.4% majority stake in Belgian online radio aggregator Radionomy including its media player platform Winamp and internet radio streaming software Shoutcast. Its shareholders, including its employees and US-based investment firm Union Square Ventures, however, retained their stakes in the company in June 2016 after having triggered a mandatory tender offer in February 2016 by reaching 30% ownership and then becoming its largest shareholder. Vivendi completed a hostile takeover of Gameloft with the acquisition of its founder's stake. At the same time, Vivendi also further increased its stake in Ubisoft, which had led to concern from the company's management that Vivendi was also planning a hostile takeover of Ubisoft. However, as of 2018, Vivendi is no longer in the position to do so. Vivendi, once the owner of Blizzard, later Activision Blizzard, searching for a new games publisher property, has started investing in both Ubisoft and Gameloft. The brothers in charge of Ubisoft and Gameloft, Eve Guillemot and Mitchell Guillemot respectively, view the investments as a hostile takeover attempt, and are raising capital from within the family and from Canadian investors to maintain control of the companies. As of 8 June 2016, Vivendi has acquired a controlling stake in Gameloft. In news from the 11th of September 2016, Eve Guillemot is set to buy an additional 3.5% of Ubisoft shares to raise his stake to 12.5% to attempt to block a takeover from Vivendi. Eve has been attempting to lobby other shareholders to prevent them selling their shares to Vivendi. As of the 20th of March 2018, Vivendi has sold all its shares in Ubisoft, and Tencent has bought in in their place. In an auction on the 6th of June, Vivendi won a bid to acquire Flavorous from SFX Entertainment for four million dollars. Also that month, it acquired Paddington and Company Limited, owner of Paddington Bear and other properties, and the Copyrights Group. Vivendi declared that it owned 12.3% of Mediaset on December 2016. In January 2019, Vivendi completed its €900 million Euros acquisition of Editus, one of France's largest book publishers. See also List of French companies <laughs>